as far as um, my work's relationship to painting, um, I think I come at it from the history of portraiture, mm -hmm. um, which a lot of my work is really indebted to portraiture, trying to push it, trying to take it in different directions. Um, especially when you talk about painting, right? It's kind of like, um, you know, that's what the rich patrons, the, uh, the monarchies, the sort of people, they would have their portraits painted. Uh, people that didn't get their portraits painted uh, were politically unimportant people, right? Um, or revolutionaries, people like that, right? So by highlighting and emphasizing people like uh, Fred Hampton or uh, Barbara Jordan, um, people like that, then it kind of elevates them and it takes portraiture in a new direction. on a technical side, not so much on the conceptual side, but just kind of in the way they're made. Um, because it's a stamp, uh, it, that acts as an individual mark, uh, which would be the equivalent of like a painting brush stroke, right? So you have like the brush stroke that's a very particular to each artist. In this case, it's, um, it's restrained, it's restricted to the actual one mark of the stamp. So it has to build up layers in this kind of way that a painting might, so it acts in that way. Um, and it has the same sort of dialogue and um, conversation around this idea of the, the two-dimensional plane and kind of creating an illusion and things like that, right? So these two figures um, I've been working with for a long time, so they, they were actually, you know, I have a whole kind of onslaught or a kind of bullpen, right, of uh, revolutionary figures that I'm trying to memorialize. Uh, so then based on the kind of what was presented here at the Art Center, kind of based on the space, they made sense to do a double portrait, uh, bring these two in since they were kind of, they're inextricably linked uh, by their deaths in 1968. Um, and by doing a double portrait, it allowed me to kind of uh, utilize this particular space in an interesting way, uh, especially considering that we're kind of at the entrance sort of of the show. It kind of greets you into what might be uh, awaiting you within the exhibition.